for those of you who don't know, my name is Miss Tasha. And today we will be learning this fun desert scene. So the supplies that I will be using are watercolor paper, watercolor palette, paper towel, cup of water, and I have three brushes here. I have a larger round brush, I have a medium round brush, and I have a smaller detail brush. Um, so if you don't have all the same supplies at home or available to you, it's okay. You can still follow along. You can use markers or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you do have. Um, if you have watercolors and not watercolor paper, just be really careful not to wet it too much or the paper will start to crumble and tear apart. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to start with our larger round brush and dip our brush in the water. We're going to use this light green here. Again, if you don't have the same colors, it's not a big deal. Our art's all going to be different anyway, so use whatever color you do have. And if you need to mix the green, blue and yellow. So we're gonna just start right here, put a big upside down stretched out U. And this is the main part of our cactus. And after that, we're gonna put an arm, and your arms can be different than mine. They can be higher, they can be lower, bigger, smaller, however you want them. And if you wanna add little smaller arms on there, you can. Just be careful not to add too much because you will be painting around this. And then when we fill it in, we're gonna use the same color and we're just gonna follow the lines that we already have, long brush strokes. And if you need to pause this at any time, feel free to do that to get caught up or rewind if you need to. I'm just following the same lines that I already made to fill in that blank space. Okay, after that, we're gonna rinse off our brush, dry it on our paper towel, and then we're going to start with this kind of deep, muddy red color. It's kind of like clay. So we're gonna draw kind of a wavy line, but we're gonna make sure it meets the bottom of our cactus here. So yours can be shaped different than mine, just make sure it touches the bottom of your cactus. And then same to fill it in, we're gonna just follow those same line we already made. Long brush strokes. And another thing that will be helpful to keep your paper from curling up at all is not to paint all the way to the edges. You can see I left some space there. The next color we're gonna use, and again, if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause, is this kind of darkish tan color. I'm just gonna make the next layer of the background. And I'm gonna make this one shaped like this. And when you're going next to your cactus, don't go through it. Just get to the cactus, lift your brush, go to the other side and continue. And same as we did before, same color, we're gonna fill in this space following the same shape that we just made. If you get a little bit on your cactus, it's not a big deal. We're gonna be adding colors to it anyway. You probably won't see it by the end. Okay, after that, we're gonna 
add a third color for the ground. And I'm gonna use, it's just about one shade lighter than the tan we just used. And I'm gonna make mine shaped like this. Again, yours can be shaped however you want it. Our art's all going to be different. When you fill it in, just follow the same lines you just made. After we have that, I'm going to use the lightest blue I have. Your sky, this is for the sky. Your sky can be darker than mine if you want. That's up to you, but I want it to look like it's a bright sunny day. So I'm gonna do a couple little clouds in the sky with my blue. I'm not filling these clouds in with the blue. I'm leaving them white. And your clouds can be shaped however you want. Mine kind of look like little hats. And then after I have those clouds, I'm just gonna paint around them a little bit with that same blue. And if you need to add a little bit of water to spread that paint out some, go ahead and do that. Just remember not to make it too wet. And I'm not filling the whole sky with a ton of blue paint. I'm just gonna kind of let it spread around and fade out to the end. So you can't see it here, but you can see it over here. Bring the sky down toward my ground here. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space down here. So this part has no sky in it. Next, I'm gonna take this sort of muddy light color. And these are going to be my mountains. Um, you can make your mountains a different color again if you want. Uh, the color doesn't matter that much. Just make it different than your sand and your sky and your cactus. So my mountains are just going to be big zigzags in the background. And then again, when you get to your cactus, don't go through it. Just go around it. And we're going to fill those in following the same shapes that we just made. Using long strokes. Be careful when you're going around your cactus, but if you do get some color on there, it's not a big deal. done with your mountains again if I'm going too fast feel free to pause and catch up when you're done with your mountains we're gonna switch brushes to the medium size one and I'm going to take this bright red and I'm going to add a couple of flowers onto my cactus and the flower is just basically a U with three little bumps on top. And you can make them different sizes. You can put them in different spots on your cactus. It does not have to look exactly like mine. You can do more, you can do less. You don't have to have flowers if you don't want them. And then we're going to switch colors again to a darker green. 
It doesn't have to be the same green that I'm using. Just make sure it's darker than the green you already used. And then we're going to, all along our cactus, add these zigzaggy, curvy lines. Make sure you're following the same shape that the cactus goes in, though. So how the arm goes up, my zigzag lines are going up. We're just gonna do that on the whole cactus. And when you're doing this, try not to use too much water or your green zigzags could blob out a little and not be as detailed. And once you're done with that, we are at our last step, which is outlining. That's why I have my teeny detail brush. Um, if you do not have a teeny detail brush, or if you're not comfortable outlining with a paintbrush, just wait for your picture to dry and outline it in a black marker. It's a lot easier, and I'm sure all of you have markers at home. So I'm just gonna take my black, and I'm gonna outline need a little more black. Outline my clouds here. You can see my outlines are not exactly perfect around all of my, my background lines. And that's okay, I kind of like it better that way. I'm gonna outline my mountains. And if you guys want to add any extra details, now would be the time to do that. Just be careful not to go crazy with the black because you cannot take it off and it's easy to cover up everything in black. Outline my flowers. And I'm not outlining all the squiggly lines I did because those already stand out pretty well on their own. I don't know if you guys can see right there where it looks kind of rough. If you have that, that means you need a little more water on your brush. A little more water, a little more paint. Okay, and then don't forget to sign your art. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to see pictures if you want to send them to Miss Natalie. That's always exciting. I'm sure your parents can help with that. Uh, I will see you next time.